Hello guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste setups and machining operations. Okay? And that's really helpful when you have uh, multiple jobs with the same machining operations. You have different uh, parts, different sizes and features and stuff like that. Okay, so um, in this video, you see I have uh, six jobs that I want to program. But I already programmed this job right here, which is a top and bottom with um, two equal spaces. It's got a partition right in the middle, okay? And it has a, see, has a, I'm using a 2D pocket, okay? So um, I already programmed this, and I'm going to the next job, which is a top and bottom, different size with four equal spaces. You see it's got uh, two side panels and three partitions, all right? But I don't want to start from scratch, meaning that I don't want to um, create a new setup and then select the 2D packet and select the end mill, select the faces and leading lead out and plunge all the stuff. I don't want to do that. So I can just go back to the first one and select setup one, right click, go down to copy, go to the second job, Click on Setups, right click, paste. You can also use um, keyboard shortcuts, okay? So I'm gonna select Paste, and there's Setup 1. I'm gonna select it, right click, Edit. And you see I have the WCS uh, in the right position, okay? Uh, this is for a whole Mac and Wiki CNC machine. If you have a different machine, then uh, this WCS is gonna be somewhere else, okay? For me, it's always going to be here. So I have um, WCS in the right orientation. And all I have to do is go down to model, click on select, select the model. I'm going to skip stock. I'm not adding any stock. I'm going to go to post process. And I'm going to name the program. See, it says back. It's not, this is not really a back panel. The top and, this top and bottom panel. So I can just uh, type top, underscore, bottom. And on the program comment, I can just type, um, oops, uh, four equal spaces. So I know this panel has four equal spaces, okay? And I'm going to click OK. See somehow the model uh, was flipped. Um, see, it's, um, it's showing me the back uh, of the panel. So I can just click, um, click on the home icon, and I'm just going to flip it to where it's supposed to be, okay? Now it says front, this is where I want. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this arrow, select 2D packet, right click, and it's taking me straight to geometry. It's skipping the tool tab. Okay, I don't have to do anything here. I'm using the same end mill, which is a nine millimeter flat end mill. Uh, same uh, facing speed as the first one. Okay, so let's go to a geometry. Um, Select the um, pockets, select this face, click on this um, uh, um, check box right here, uh, ch on, on this box, and then you, it uh, automatically selects um, the rest of the pockets, okay? So I'm gonna click OK here, and click OK here. And see the part, part's already programmed, so I just programmed this part like, I would say under two minutes, so that was quick, or under a minute. All right, uh, I wasn't really checking on the time, okay, but it was really quick, okay. Um, so this job is already programmed. Let's go to the next job, which is a door that has um, a Sailies uh, hinge, okay. You see, I'm using um, uh, I'm using an eight millimeter brow point, and then a thirty-five millimeter uh, brow point for that big hole in the in the middle, okay. So this job is already programmed, okay. So I'm just gonna right click, set up one, go down to copy, go to the next job, which is a door, okay? Uh, that's gonna be using a different hinge, um, which is a bloom or blum. Uh, the position is gonna be different than uh, uh, Salis uh, hinge, okay? And I'm gonna select, um, or click on setups, right click, paste, and 
Select setup one, right click, add it. Go down to model, click on select, select the model. Post process. And I'm not making any changes here. So I have the right name of the program, uh, the comment. So uh, I'm going to click OK. It's going to do that. Um, click on the home icon. OK, uh, click on this arrow. Select the first uh, drilling operation. Right click, edit. Uh, I have a selection mode, uh, selected faces, selected. Um, I have a select, uh, select same, uh, same diameter uh, check. So I'm going to select this uh, hole right here, 8 millimeters. OK. I'm going to click OK. Select the second uh, drilling operation, right click, edit. Uh, select uh, hole faces, select this face right here. There you have it. Click OK. This job is already programmed, just like that. OK. Let's go to uh, the other job. This is a side panel with five millimeter holes, and it's got a rabbit. All right. Um, this one is already programmed. I'm using a five millimeter broad point uh, 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 boring bit and using um, uh, a nine millimeter um, end mill, okay? So um, I'm gonna right click, go down to copy, go to the last job. And this one uh, is a side panel. Um, see this side panel has a hole for, um, uh, for a drawer, um, for a slide or drawer track, it has a bottom drawer, and it has holes for an adjustable shelf. It's got a divider in the middle. It has a rabbit for the back panel, OK? So I'm going to click on Setups, right-click, Paste. Select Setup 1, right-click, Edit. Go down to Model. Click on Select. Select the model. Go to Post Process, Size, OK? Uh, under Program Comment, I'm going to type uh, I'm going to type uh, ADJ for adjustable shelf and uh, bottom drawer. OK, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on this home icon, home icon. OK, click on this arrow, select uh, drilling operation, five millimeter prop point uh, boring bit, right click, edit. I'm going to zoom in, select this uh, face, zoom out. OK. And I'm going to click OK. OK. I'm going to select the 2D packet, right click, edit. Go to uh, geometry selections, click on this arrow. Select uh, pockets. Zoom in, select this pocket. Click OK and click OK. And there you have it. I just programmed these parts, um, well, most of these parts in, I would say, under five minutes. So I was quick and, and I'm just ready to post process every single program. You know, and and load the load the programs in the machine and, and run them. So that's how you copy and paste uh, set us on machining operations. Okay, guys. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And just want to say one thing before um, I end this video. Uh, I, I just want to say thank you. To all of who subscribe to my channel, I got 157 subscribers. Um, I never thought I would get that many subscribers, maybe under a year and a half, I guess, of um, making videos for you guys. So I want to thank, I want to say thank you to all of you guys. Okay, um, have a nice day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.